What's up everyone, it's Liz. Today, I'm gonna walk you through what a prepaid expense is in QuickBooks Online and how to record it. We're gonna walk through this step-by-step, -step, how to create a journal entry, how to recognize it on the P&L, and when to leave it on the balance sheet. So, let's get started. First, let's start off with what is a prepaid expense. A prepaid expense is money that you pay for something that you haven't received yet. Imagine that you decide that you want to go to this big conference in San Francisco, but it's not going to happen for six months, but you want to take advantage of their early bird discount. So you pay $1,000 now, and you're not going to go to that conference until, let's say, October. That's a prepaid expense. A prepaid expense is an asset, and it sits on your balance sheet until it's time to expense it. Then you're going to move it from the balance sheet to the P&L, and then we expense it. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. In QuickBooks, we have the expense. So we can see right here, it is this event in San Francisco in October, we paid $1,000, but we're gonna allocate it to the category called prepaid expenses. So I save this expense. So I go reports, balance sheet, and right here you could see that we have our prepaid expenses for $1,000. Now that's gonna sit on the balance sheet until October hits. So now let's say October does hit. We're gonna do an adjusting journal entry to move it onto the income statement. So I'm just gonna click add new journal entry and we just make sure that we date it for the weekend of that particular event so now i'm going to select prepaid expenses and remember it's an asset in order for me to deduct this i actually have to credit it to move the thousand dollars out now i'm going to expense it on the income statement so here i select the category called conference and events so really what i'm doing is i'm removing it from the prepaid expense account and i'm putting it into conference and events. So now this is gonna show up on the P&L for $1,000 in October, but it's gonna sit on the balance sheet until we do that. Now I head back to reports. Now I'm gonna to go to the profit and loss statement. And as you can see right here, we see that this is now showing up on our P&L for October and it's allocating that $1,000 to conference and events. And that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks. Until next time, ciao. Thank you